it's funny um, because I look at Rashanta as a sister. I went to school with her sister. Her older brother was super amazing mentor, super amazing person. But I'll I'll read the bio and then say some other things. So, <laughs> Rashanta Miles uh, is currently striving to be one of the best local fashion boutiques where um, women can come and get hair extensions along with hair accessories and any beauty needs that they may have. Um, beauty items include, but not limited to makeup, purses, wigs, shirts, leg warmers, and much, much more. And I'm sure we'd love to hear about the much, much more piece, um, Rashanta. Um, Crown Styles with a Z is by, by Princess, loves to make customers look and feel beautiful or just help create a special look that you may always have. And for Valentine's Day, this is actually perfect. Perfect time to kind of do some of this advertising. Yes, it is. <laughs> so good. So Rashanta believes that when you look good, you feel good and plans to use her business uh, to continue to spread good in the community by encouraging young and old women um, to feel good about themselves in any way that they can. So I'm super excited about Rashanta being here. And yes, Rashanta, please tell us a little bit and a lot about your business. Johnny, right. Johnny, yeah. can I interject real of quick before can. she gets started? Um, so Rashanta is a former student, um, Mark Streeter. Um, and so I'm extremely proud uh, she was a very silent, uh, um, quiet, very quiet young lady um, when she was um, at Mark Street School. And I don't know if that's because she's a baby of the family and couldn't do voice or whatever, but it does my heart um, just, it's just swelling with pride to see uh, the woman that entrepreneur that she's blossomed into to what you see in front of you today. She's just so beautiful and it looks like she is in her shop. So um, I wanna tell her thank you for accepting the invite and I just cannot wait to hear what she has in store for us this evening. Thank you for coming, Rashanta. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Um, this is an honor and I really appreciate it. Um, when you gave me a call and stated that you and Johnny um, wanted me to uh, do this, I was very excited. Um, I just, I can't thank you enough. Um, but Ms. Dyer, uh, I wanted to say, even at my years, uh, my years at Mark Street School, your fingernails is one of that stood out to me. So when I would go to school and I would see Miss Dyer's nails, I knew what type of mood she was going to be in, whether she got her bright red nails or her maroon nails. Those are the two colors that she normally always wore. She never changed. So I could tell what type of week that we were going to have. And normally, when she had a maroon, it would be nice, calm, and relaxing. But when she had her red, I knew that we would be doing something <laughs> with her and Mr. Dash. So I just want to say thank you so much for keeping your nails up and your smile and your, your lipstick that you would wear. That definitely had a big impact on me. And Thing like this. So my name, of course, is Rashanta Miles, um, also known as the princess. Um, I've always been a girl that's been obsessed with like makeup and hair. I was one of the kids that say my mom would do my hair for picture day. By the time my mom left for work, I would be in the mirror in the bathroom changing my hairstyle. So then by the time she got my pictures on picture day, my entire, um, <laughs> my entire hairstyle would have changed, possibly even my outfit. So that that has really um, inspired me to um, want to take on the fashion industry and being able to help my community not um, look good, but um, also feel good. And I feel I feel like when you feel good, you look good, you want to do good. So. Um, that's something that's really important to me. Um, so I am um, known, 
as a plus, like I said before, and the name of my business is called Crown Styles by Princess. I am currently located inside of Platinum Barbershop, which is at 135 London Street, right around the corner from um, Pop's Corner Store. Um, inside of Platinum Barbershop, there are tons of different people um, servicing the community from barbers to estheticians and um, much, much more. So it's kind of like a family being here. And I just really appreciate um, Davion McGarry for giving me this opportunity. Um, to describe my product, some of the things that I do have in stock are um, wigs, um, eyelashes, uh, such as um, magnetic ones, ones that you glue on, ones that, you, or help them strive for a look that they may have seen in a magazine or TV. And also my products are forever or just for, you know, women, I think for everyone, for believe that your hair is your first impression. When people first see you, that is the first thing they see. It makes you want to be a better you. So also, um, I feel like Black businesses are important because our community needs to see everyone making a change. Not just one here, one there. I feel like everyone should be able to have an opportunity um, to bring diverse products and items to a community or city and to be able to help others. And um, especially when it comes to pampering oneself, um, doing something good for yourself always makes you feel good. And like I said, when you feel good, you look good. You feel good, so you want to do good. Um, it's been... Uh, um, it has been a slippery slope, though, due to COVID, I will at that. Um, I've had some ups and downs uh, due to COVID-19. I will say in the beginning, when everything shut down, Prestos was to use that to an advantage. At that time, I was able to do um, door drop-offs at people's homes and then utilize Facebook as a way to go ahead and post items so people could see and let me know what it is that they were interested in. Um, the beauty supplies closed, such as Sally's um, and other stores where people couldn't get um, the necessities that they need. So they were able to reach out to me and I was, the, was able to go ahead and get that stuff for them. Now, on the other side, when I um, got, uh, hi, when I um, happened to get coaching about anything as far as the drop-offs or have anyone come to the shop. So, so um, COVID-19 was a bad, but also good in many ways. It's an insight on that. Um, also, um, Crown Styles loves to, hi, cater to people. People. I have some visitors. Who are they? Yes, I have some visitors. Let me see them. Okay. Let's see if I can um turn my camera around. So I have some shoppers. Tim Jones, one of they my friends. They have some shoppers. Star Trail. Oh, that's... <laughs> yes. That's Donna Gartrell. Oh, you yes. guys realize that she is broadcasting from her shop, right? Yes. I am broadcasting from the shop. <laughs> and so, um, and currently right now, um, I am also um, working downtown at the Candy Shack Cafe. And then I also work at um, Harding, Harding Harbor. So even though I do have a busy schedule, I am able to cater to my customers whenever is needed. I um, sometimes even come and open the shop after hours just if someone hasn't provide good services to my community and to my customers. I do whatever I can to either try to work with their schedule or they try to work with mine. 
Um, so right now, my hours currently um, are two to five since I do work um, at the Candy Shack, and that is Tuesday through Friday. And then on Saturdays, I'm in at noon. And then if you have any other um, requests, you can either message me on Facebook, you will normally get a quick response within an hour, within an hour, or you can reach me on my cell phone. And then, like I said, I can meet whomever at the shop if they need something. But currently my hours are by Tuesday through Friday and then Saturday noon to five. And so um, does anybody have any questions or anything they would like to know about me or the shop at this time? Tell us about the uh, challenges also, Rashanta, of, of being a parent. And congratulations, you guys just won the championship. Yes, we did. Grant Seven Greg won the championship. Um, so congratulations. With, um, I want to say, 20 points that game. Um, Tamani did? Yes, he did. Oh, my God. Okay. One of the parents yelled out, Tamani was the MVP of the game, which that oh. really was so good. Um, but one of the challenges I would say about opening this shop is that I don't really have, um, not that I don't have any role models, but there's not a lot of people doing the same thing as me. So, honestly, Walking into this business venture was kind of like walking into a room with the lights off with the blindfold on. And it's like, as I feel around and turn the light on, my vision gets better. And then once I figure it out on my own, the way that I feel, it, it, get, it gets better. And so like, I have talked to other people like such as um, Chris um, from Out of Boys and Harding Harbor. He's given me some pointers on first, um, owners or opening a business but at the same time it's really hard because there's not a lot of black people in our community that have businesses so just starting out um, on my own I'm kind of learning as I go but in the end the reward is the greatest because I've done it on my own yes yeah. what would you tell a young black girl now her senior year in high school that was a piece of advice you give her um so did you guys hear the question that Sharna Gartrell had she said that if, if there was a young girl um, that was a senior in high school, what advice I would give her if she wanted to start a business. And my advice would, would be to follow your heart. Because sometimes everybody doesn't know what's on your heart. You know what I mean? And if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. And no matter if someone tells you you can't do it, you can do it. Never, ever give up. It's because it's a journey between you and God. So never give up. That was a great. Um, isn't she like a, a nurse or something? Yes, she is um, a surgical tech out at um, Marion General Hospital. And she is one of the best. Every time when my mom had um, surgery, she was back there and let me know she was going to be okay. So it's like being in the community, it's like a family. So she just doesn't come here to get here. We conversate. Sometimes someone may need a hype man or someone may be going through something and they can sit down and have a conversation with me and then also leave feeling beautiful. Does anybody else have any other questions for me? Is there a certain brands that you carry, like for instance, lipstick or lip gloss, or is it just a mixture of things. So me being the person that I am, I do like to help other young entrep um, entrepreneurs try to um, get inside of the business world is from Central Cosmetics, which is from a young lady by the name of Sania. Um, she has her own lip gloss line. So I just figured it would be nice for me to put something in my shop so that people can see um, what she's doing. And maybe, you know, she can grow to be something or have her own business one day. So as far as the lip gloss, that's what I carry. And then I carry several, several different styles of wigs. And then I also carry um, different textures of hair. So I would have human hair and then I also have a synthetic mix. And then I also just have a synthetic. So it just base is based off the person's price price range and how much they're willing to spend. And so 
in my mind, I always try to take under consideration the single moms or, you know, the, the, the people that really don't want to spend a lot of money, but they still want to feel beautiful and they still want to look nice because you don't have to rip anybody off to, to make a, make money or anything. I feel like in Marion, people, most people care about how they look. So they're going to spend that, spend money to, you know what I mean? Make their self feel good. So you, I don't have to go out of their way to try to bump bump up prices or anything like that it's really just about having a service and products in marion that we don't have because normally people travel 30 40 to an hour out of town just to get a wig and time is money so you take an hour to drive there plus your gas and all that when you can just stop right here at 134 london street and i will get you whatever you need and i also take requests so mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the question. Uh, so Rashanta, um, I actually have like tears in my eyes. I'm just so happy. I'm I like watching you and listening to your story. I feel both inspired, but I also kind of think about like, I've watched you grow, grow like on the internet. I watched like you sourcing things out of your house and now you having your own space and then like where you're going to go in the future. Um, well, let me make sure I get to, uh, Sarita's question, but I just wanted to say okay. that. So Sarita asked, what products can we find in your shop, um, hair products mainly, and, um, what are your favorite products to sell? Okay. So my favorite project products to sell are eyelashes. They're $5. People are like, why? They're so like a woman will put on a pair of eyelashes and it will change i don't know if you've ever heard but when they know holy spirit activate it's almost like eyelashes activate eyelashes activate because just a five dollar purchase can change your whole mood you know and i started out with eyelashes strip lashes you know and then it basically um gradually grew into what i have now so I love eyelashes. So that is my favorite product to sell. As far as like shampoos and conditioners, right now I have a product um, in by the line Myel, and it is a perfect product for um, biracial children or children that are mixed because here in Marion, a lot of people have biracial children but do not know how to care for their hair. And is it their fault? No. Every, education comes with everything. You know, I didn't start this overnight. I didn't know about wigs every all overnight. So everything is a learning process. So um, the Mayel line has um, leave-in conditioner, regular shampoo, um, gel. Um, what else do we have? Looking for products to help with um, their children and they don't know where to turn or where to look, come in and see me. And if I don't have something that will... Um, be effective for your child, I will definitely um, try to give you some op options or a brand that would be more effective. Because my job is not to just sell something, but my thing is I want to help people's hair grow. I want to, I want to help people, you know, find the right products for their hair, you know, because the money is going to come, but being the good customer our service really matters. And thank you, Sarita, for your question. Johnny, is she able? And then are um, you able to just like let us see your shop? Yeah. Kind of like is that hair hanging up behind <laughs> you? Yes. So right there is the wall where I take all the pictures where Mr. Timothy Jones is standing. And Jim then Jones, the entrepreneur. Yeah. He, he should be going to be next. <laughs> yep. And then I have some wigs over here. And mm -hmm. then I have t-shirts and then some plus size women clothing. And mm -hmm. then I have um, some leg warmers. And oh, wait a minute. Plus size? Oh, Go plus back there. size fits most. Okay. Okay. And then I also have track hair. And then I have um, that in human or empty. Call me all. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I have ponytails um, with bangs. 
And then I have a section of braiding here, which goes very fast. I have to keep my braiding hair stocked because a lot of people in Marion get their hair braided. And I didn't notice until I went out on this business venture. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'll show you some of the things on the counter. Mm -hmm. Hey, Matt, that's an excellent question. Would you like to um, you ask your question, Matt? That's a really good question. What do you I feel bad. It's not going to need to help a customer or go back. Um, I help them at the same time. Is it okay if I get with them and then get right back? Yeah. Um, before she, before she, before she goes, um, could you mention? Because uh, you, you have mentioned God and all praises to God, and you know, uh, um, your blessings and stuff. Would you like to mention your church and your pastor? Absolutely. So I am a proud member of May's Community Temple Church of God in Christ, and um, Pastor um, Sean Jackson, and First Lady Lana Jackson, and then our state supervisor Maddie Jewel Mays, and then um, our church mother. Sister Patricia and our church mother and Meredith, Mother Floyd. So, all right, yeah, I'm proud. all right. Yes, and um, Pastor Jackson and um, Sister Lana have been a great inspiration um, to me on this journey. And honestly, uh, First Lady Lana was one of the first people to give me one of my first vendors to start this journey. So, um, if God Yeah. Yep. So very nice. Just them and thank just, you just to pop them back. Both. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. All right. Glad to see she's got people popping in and out of there and supporting that. That was nice. When I think about uh, Sh Sharonda's business, I think about um, Patricia Floyd. If you guys remember, she had mm -hmm. a business something like that she did. back some years ago. Uh, wigs. And and uh, that kind of was there before her. So mm -hmm. I'm just so proud of her because I wanted to find out how much of an inspiration her mom was to her because every time I see uh, Miss Vivian, she's dressed to the max. Miss yeah. so I was just wondering how much of an inspiration her mother was to her with this venture that she had. And, and Pastor Jackie, that's a great point because um, Minister Floyd had a vision that was way before her time. Yes. You know, now um, hair, weave, um, all those products that uh, Princess Rashanta was showing, you know, Minister Floyd had that vision a long time ago and yeah. had the need for that service been around when she first had her shop. I think we would have had a very different outcome uh, for her. But you're right. Uh, her vision was very, very strong. Um, so she was way before her time. Way before her time, yeah. I know that we have um, uh, Princess Rashanta was on again and off again a little bit, and uh, Ede just had a chance to present. So we had two really great presentations. I wanted to um, um, shift back to Princess Rashanta. Uh, I think that we had maybe there were other people that had some questions for you. Um, yeah, so I wanted to kind of like pass the mic back to you and for our guests that came in a little later they might also want to know a little bit more about what you're doing princess rashanta okay hi everyone so um like i said previously my name is um rashanta miles also known as a princess um i currently have um a small fashion boutique located inside of platinum barbershop which is located at 134 London Street, and that's Marion, Ohio. Um, and here I, well, I would say my mission is once you, when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you want to do good. Um, so in my boutique, I offer things such as um, eyelashes, um, wigs, um, shampoos, conditioners. I also offer brands for people who have um, biracial children, you know, cause some people do, don't or do not know the products that they need in order to um, care for their children's hair. 
Um, so basically anything a woman or anyone feels like they may need in order to enhance their beauty, not make them beautiful, but enhance the beauty. So is there um, any questions that you'd like to ask or? Do you have any um, difficulty accessing capital? Uh, do you have already a, a banking partner or was that difficult for you to kind of establish that kind of a relationship with a local bank or did you have to go outside of New York for that? So, Brett, um, so opened um, a business with PNC Bank. Um, figuring out the 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 way to go about it, I'd say, was somewhat difficult, but not too hard. Um, I was able to get it done, and um, they're actually a really pretty good bank. So, slowly but surely. Um, things have been falling into place as they should. So that is the bank um, institution that I use. And then um, I do also have an account with um, Chase, but I haven't been using that much um, as far as for the business. And then right now I do accept payments through um, the Square Reader, Cash, and then PayPal as well. Um, as far as um, the business bank account goes, though, I did have to do some research on some of um, the best banks to use, and PNC was one of the ones that was listed. So that's why I decided to go with them. And then also um, my niece and nephew's mother there, she's actually a branch manager. So that's another reason why I decided to choose that bank. Good reasons. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. A great presentation again. I'm sorry, it was it was cut into two pieces, but uh, you did a great job both times. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just. I don't know. I, starting out, it was hard and it was scary at first, but I'm actually glad I took this leap of faith. And like I said, some days I do feel like I'm walking into a room um, with a blindfold, but I feel like once I do it on my own, the reward will be just so much greater, you know, and then um, I'll be able to help others or people that want to maybe open a business um, a hair business like me, I'm not opposed to anyone um, selling the same thing or going in the same business as me because there's four McDonald's and there's not one McDonald's I don't eat at, you know? So um, it's not really about competition or worrying about other people, just what we can do to help each other grow. And then um, another thing about the business that I like is that a lot of my family members support me. Um, Sometimes people get upset because people that they know or maybe friends or family don't support them. But I can honestly say my family and friends have came through for me. Um, my mom, she's one of my <laughs> um, regulars. Um, almost said favorite customer, but I won't say that. Um, but uh, we have a, a lot of styles in common, so it's easier to kind of get things that I know that she likes. And then um, I have customers um, that sometimes tell me what they want. And then I do my best to try to get what it is um, that they asked for. And then um, believe it or not, um, one of my first customers um, was my friend named Jodell. And everybody's like, like, you know, is this just for black people? And it's not because she was actually, she was actually Caucasian and she was the first person to make a purchase from me. So I wanted to give her a shout out. Um, so yeah, I just feel like what I do is for everyone. It's not for a specific color. It's not for a specific, you know, it's about what makes you feel good. I want everyone to feel beautiful. I don't care what you look like or, you know, or what color community because it takes a village whether you're raising kids whether you're raising yourself you know and to me mental health is real and when you don't feel up to par you definitely you know can be hard on yourself or go into depression because I know during the time of COVID I almost did I definitely understand why Britney Spears shaved her head off you know what I mean like some things aren't easy I can take a load off of someone by helping them look in the mirror and see a different, a better version of their self than my day and my job has been done. We, we really appreciate um, everything that you're saying, Rashanta, like connecting your work to mental health to um, COVID-19 and some of the challenges that you as a small business owner have had during COVID-19, just 
but it's in general. Um, can you tell us one more time before we get off, like where your location is and how does someone get a hold of you in order to um, do business with you? Sure. So I am located inside of Platinum Barbershop, which is located at 134 London Street. And that's here in Marion. And it's right around the corner um, from Pop's Corner Store. Um, a lot of people know that location. Um, that's been around for many, many years. And um, my hours right now are 2 to 5 p.m. But I'm working on coming in earlier. Um, since my son's now done with basketball, I can kind of have my life back now. Um, and so I'm located in London Street. Um, I'm sorry, what else was the question, Johnny? Uh, how, how can they come in, you know, just come into your shop if they want to buy some hair or if they want to buy a bag or any of those things? You can um, contact me um, at 740-341-1876 or you can reach me um, by Facebook and I have um, a business page shut up, set up underneath Crown Styles by Princess LLC and then I also have a business personal page is underneath Rashanta Miles. And there I'll list all my products, what I have available, what I've sold out of, um, the cost. And I also um, do um, meetup service. So say that you have an emergency at 10 o'clock at night, I can come to the shop and get whatever it is that you need if you reach out to me. Um, I'm best you can reach me best by um, Facebook Messenger. I know a lot of people don't have Facebook. So um, on my business cards, I also have my email and my phone number. And my email is mascara, like the makeup, <laughs> princess11 at gmail.com. So um, you can reach me there. Um, and I will get back to you, um, especially I always aim to try to get back to my customers within the same day. But normally it's like within within an hour. I try to be very prompt. And even if I can't get to the shop, I at least like to keep my customers informed on when I would be there and when I won't be. And then again, thank you so much for the opportunity, Johnny and um, Ms. Dyer and everybody out the chambers like I, I can't even thank you enough you see I almost got teary-eyed and cried earlier just because it's been a long time coming not hard but just a long time coming so just to be a part of this is just showing me my growth because sometimes when you're doing it you don't see it you know until like I'm actually speaking it and talking about it because I did go from my house to now a shop so it really has been a journey for me. And I just really appreciate everyone, um, their love and support, whether it's a share, a like, a comment, it does not go unnoticed. Sometimes people think, you know, support is all about the dollar. It's all about, but it's not. It's about communicating or just, you know, making a post and showing a picture of something that I may have. I may um, get four buys from people that I'm not even friends with that you may have shared on your page and they may have said, seen something that I like. So it's just not about um, people buying from me. I just like people being able to interact with me. And when they think about hair or beauty products, they mention my name or they mention crowd styles. That is my goal. Definitely. Thank you so much, Rashanta. And what I, again, like we want to awesome. give you flowers while you're here. So thank you so much for everything. And like you, I got teary-eyed <laughs> earlier just watching you <laughs> present because I do feel this was a very inspiring time that we spent with you. Um, I do want to say before we get off here again, thank you, Rashanta, for coming and telling us all about Crown Styles by Princess LLC. Stay healthy and thank you for everything that you do. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.